Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. In today's session, we're going to go over a few currency pairs I have on my watch list, see what potential trading opportunities we have for this coming week. With that being said, let's dive right into that. So JPYX for the past week has been pumping higher, coming to this market structure. And as I anticipated in the past week, it has done so. Now that it's here, we are actually anticipating to see prices either break above and keep on pumping higher or break below uh, I, I mean respect the structure and keep on selling my bias is that prices will break this and keep on pumping higher as prices have reached this support you can see the bulls are still stronger like and you can notice that by looking at the candlestick sizes so you can see this size it's actually they're actually larger than the bearish candles and with that it actually shows that the bears are actually, the bulls are actually still strong. And before that, like you can see in any reversal, like for instance here, you can see the bulls became weak, bears pumped lower. Bulls became weak, bears pumped lower. Bulls became weak, bears pumped lower. So for us to see a reversal here, we'll need to see the bulls become weak before the bears can pump low. And so far, the bulls are still strong. So the chances of a reversal are slim. So we are going to keep on with the bias that prices are most likely going to break above and keep on pumping higher. How will that be impacting the other currency pairs? We can see with um, USD JPY prices broke below this structure, gave us that retest. So we'll be anticipating to see prices fall. Um, we have card JPY where prices have broken below this trend line and have lost this momentum. You can see the anchor candlesticks are so solid bearish so we'll be anticipating to see prices also in this candle in this um currency pair pump lower right so we have also euro jpy where prices have not yet broken below the structure no the trend line so this one is still fresh. like it still hasn't even provided us with the opportunity so once it breaks below here, breaks below this low, gives us a retest back here, we are selling that thing. So that's all with JPYX. Let's see how um, the US dollar currency pair is acting up. With the US dollar currency pair, we can see prices broke below this low. So, and the momentum is still clearly bearish as prices broke below this structure. So we need to see how prices are going to continue selling lower. And so far, we can see prices are on this structure, haven't yet broken above this structure. So I'm going to be waiting to see how prices will react once they reach on this structure. Most likely, I'm anticipating to see prices start selling once they hit that structure. Where it will also be a third touch on this descending trend line. And then from there, we'll be looking for selling opportunities for prices to keep on dumping. And that's when we'll be looking for buys on EURUSD. As EURUSD is inversely correlated to the dollar. So with this one, prices already hit that, but the structure still wasn't um, broken. So you can see that it might take off from right there but we just have to be patient and see. Until we get a confirmation, we are not taking any trades. GU, same thing applies, same thing applies. Although with GU right here, we can see prices have already broken below this right here. So for us to take a trade with GU, it's a little bit complex than EURUSD. As with GU, we have to see prices first, create a high, then a low and on this low is where we are going to be taking the trade to pump higher because we need to see a change in trend also because the trend right now just broke below this low so we can't buy on a downtrend we need to buy in an uptrend never trade against the trend that's the motto so for us to take this trade we need to see prices create a high then a higher low then at that higher low that's when you pull the trigger with gold same thing same thing prices did pump higher than we anticipated now we are only anticipating to see prices keep on going higher as the dollar keeps going lower 
So obviously it's also on a market structure as always. All of the pairs as you've as you seen on the dollar are actually on market structures. So it's very easy for them to start pumping higher as the markets open as early as Monday. So with that being said, guys, I hope you found value in this video. Please consider liking, commenting, and sharing with a few friends that you believe will also find value in the video. Till next time, guys, let's have a killer week. Let's do what professional traders do. Get this money. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, thank you for being here. Till next time. Don't forget to join our free telegram that's linked in the description because more updates are posted there on a daily. You don't want to miss that out. Peace.